Hey friends, it's Tracy from Nova Scotia Living, and today I want to show you how we make donairs in our household, in our neck of the woods here in Nova Scotia. Well, at least, yeah, in our home. Um, my husband got this recipe from a friend, and this is usually something my husband makes, but I've seen him do it umpteen times, and uh, yeah, we're going to whip it up because my family loves it and it's super easy to make. So all the specific measurements of the spices and uh, the meat and everything will be in the description box down below. So if you want to try it yourself, you check out the description box down below. So I'll just quickly show you what we have here. Um, the spices that we're going to use today is some salt, black pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, ground oregano, uh, cayenne pepper, and Italian seasoning. We also add a smidgen of uh, all-purpose flour. I'm just using gluten-free because I had that in my cupboard. And um, I've never seen him do it. Like this will make three logs of donair meat. And he always does each package of hamburger meat separately. So I'm not sure if you can do it in one giant batch. You probably can, but you just want to make sure it's mixed up really good. But it says to add the spices that you're going to do in a little dish make sure you mix them up really good I just use a fork to make sure they're all mixed together and then we're going to start rocking and rolling so let me get you guys set up and uh, yeah I'll show you what I'm doing okay friends well this recipe is um, something that's very common or donairs are very common here in Nova Scotia and um, usually if you were to go to a store they'd be on like a big stick and it's uh, rotating and it's just really nice spiced smooth meat that uh, is so tasty so again the specific measurements they're written down here I'm just gonna copy them for the description box and um, that's what we'll do because It'll be easier, so I'm putting a package, a package, and a little bit of this package. I'm going to divide this package into three. There. So I know my head will be partially cut off. I'm going to break this up a little bit because we have to get this meat nice and seasoned. So I'm going to use one of these cups of spices that I have it all measured out for. Put a little bit in here. I'll dump the rest in just a minute. And you mix it up really good. smell those spices a mile away well it is December 1st today guys I don't know when I'm gonna post this video and I have a lot on the go today I plan on baking I have a boiled dinner on the stovetop the kids are all home it's a Saturday and uh, yeah it's just one of those days when I get some baking done and cooking done Yesterday was a busy day like that too. So this is just, it says to mix it all together. It's so faded in that paper. I want to make sure it gets evenly distributed through. You don't have to use glove guys, gloves. I just use gloves. So I was thinking I could maybe do this with a stand mixer, but I'm going to do it how I always see my husband do it, because I know it turns out, and maybe another time I'll try it with a stand mixer. But So what he always does, you can hear it all the way through the house, after you mix all the spices in, you make like a ball, a ball of hamburger, and then you pick it up and pound it like this about 20 to 30 times and I think I don't really know what it's for maybe it softens the meat or something you do it hard the whole table will shake so let me get this done and 
I'll be back. the juices that the fat that comes out of it drips down into the bottom doesn't make such a big mess in the oven so you try to form this into a log shape like a football sort of thing just trying to think of the size when he does it There we go. And after you slam it down on the in the bowl that many times, the consistency, the texture of this meat changes. It's like a soft, almost like, I don't know, I don't want to say pureed, but it, it's just softer. So you put it in there, this pan will hold three loaves. Isn't that a meat, Clark? So I'm going to do the other two loaves and then uh, I'll bring you back and show you what we do next. Oh, well, what a sticky mess, but it's all done. I stretched out the logs a little bit because hamburger shrinks up when you cook it, right? And this is regular ground hamburger. Um, so if you can make it like a little longer, like skinnier and longer instead of shortened fat, because <laughs> it is going to shrink up uh, quite a bit. But yep. Yeah. I had the oven preheated at 350. This bakes for about an hour and a half, but I always flip it over the first 45 minutes in. So I'll bring you back when it's time to flip them over. Okay, friends, the first 45 minutes just uh, beat, so I took it over the oven and oh, canceled stop time there. So now we got to try to flip this over without breaking it. We have these big long clamper things. And then we're going to put them back this back in the oven for another 45 minutes. And it'll brown up quite a bit and dry out quite a bit. But still be uh, just perfect. Just perfect. So I'm going to stick that back in the oven. Ooh. And I'll bring you back uh, in another 45 minutes. All right, friends, I just took that doner out of the oven and it's piping hot, so it's done. Now I'm gonna let it sit. I need to make some doner sauce for this and uh, chop up some onions and tomatoes that go really good with this. So I'll bring you back when I get that stuff all uh, together. I'll show you how to make the sauce though in a minute. Wait, get, oh, let me get the garlic powder. Well, guys, um, I need to run to the store to get some vanilla, so Mally's going to make the garlic, oh, not the garlic, there she is, the doner sauce. She doesn't want to talk, but I can't read the writing on here. It's so faded, and my husband's not here now. My teenager's here, so I'm not leaving the kids by themselves or anything, but, um, oh, careful, hon. She's going to do it. I'll put it to music, and then I'll tell you what the sauce is after, so...
friends, well, it's the next day, the day after I made this donair. There's two other logs in the big Ziploc bag. My family decided to have that boiled dinner for supper. So it's perfectly fine. And I should know, this can be used as a freezer meal. We've never done it before, but I don't see why it wouldn't be a freezer meal. You could freeze it after it's cooked, or if I was to do it, I'd probably freeze it after I made the logs and left it raw, and wrapped it up tight, put it in a freezer bag, and froze it that way. But never done it before, but I don't see why it wouldn't work. Anyways, one of my kids wants to have donair meat. I just heated the log up in the microwave, microwave. And if you were to buy this at a restaurant or a store, they shave it really nice and thin. I try my best, I'm not the greatest at it, but that's okay, you do what you can do. And often it will be on a plate on top of a torti tortilla, like a little, you know, those little bread to tortillas, but we don't generally do that because, uh, well, my husband and I are keto and we don't eat that stuff, but the kids, you know, just like the meat with the onions and the tomatoes that we put on top of it. But just putting it out there. So you just uh, try to, for those that don't know, my hands are clean, friends, just so you know. Um, I just find it's easier to slice up after you heat up the log a little bit. I just put it in for two minutes. And if it's not hot enough, I can put her individual plate in the microwave. I'm going to cut this whole thing up, though. But like I said, I have two other, two other logs in the bag. See, just nice, nice thin layers. But of course they have those fancy knives that just shave, shave it off. And yeah, um, we've only ever put onions and tomatoes on it. I don't know what other people might put on it, but I'm really not too sure. You could probably put cheese on it if you wanted. I, I stick with the onions and tomatoes. So, and then the sauce that Mally made, I'll make sure I uh, put that recipe down too. So that's what I'm going to give her. She's a big girl and she likes stonair. And then she doesn't want any onions on it. She just said, give me a whole bunch of tomatoes. I said, well, you're not eating all the stinking tomatoes. We have more tomatoes though, but I just, she wants... She'll have to cut them up if she wants more tomatoes. So anyways, yeah, this is nice spicy meat, but it's not too, too spicy. Uh, yeah, when we lived in Halifax years ago, there's King of Donair there and uh, fantastic Donairs. So in the white sauce, Is the stuff that we made. My daughter Medea's dancing behind you guys. It thickens up in the fridge. Stop. <laughs> it thickens up in the fridge, but it's a really sweet sauce. And uh, Mally, yeah. do you want donair sauce? I got it. Okay, she's gonna put it on, so I'll let her do that. They don't know what donair sauce is. Well, I don't know. You come over here and do it. So they can see you do it. Because. You can have some of that on the perfect. <laughs> <laughs> you can have some of that stuff on the Mom, it's done. Yes, it's done. Honey. Go on out, I'll bring your supper out. I was reading Dad's book and it's all faded. I can't even see. Usually Dad's the one that makes this stuff. So, Maze! Oh, here, Mally. Let me take a picture of your plate. 
Okay, friends. Well, yeah, the plates are loaded in there. They're gone to eat. But yeah, it's just a personal preference of how much sauce you put on it. If you put it on a tortilla, um, sometimes they come wrapped up in a tortilla and try to eat it that way. It's always so messy, like so messy, but it's fun to eat and <laughs> it tastes good. But yeah, making it at home, we usually just shave it off and top it with what we want to top it with and make our own sauce and it turns out great every single time. And um, the kids like me to pack it in their lunches too. I just heat it up in the morning and put it in their thermoses with a little side of sauce on the side. It's uh, perfect. So anyways, guys, this is how we make Donaire in this house. So uh, give it a whirl and let me know down below what you think. So yeah, the directions, the specific, you know, measurements and stuff of the spices and uh, the meat and stuff will be down below. So check it out. All right, guys. So peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose. But if not, that's okay too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I really, really do. I certainly do. So, all right, guys. Well, I'm going to clean up this mess and uh, carry on with my evening. So have a good night or have a good morning, and I'll see you later. Bye. Boink.